hello guys in normal uh, repeaters you can see that we can easily add a new repeater uh, there are a couple of uh, attributes their field types as you can see title and all that but in uh, case of uh, nested repeaters we have uh, a repeater inside a repeater like there is a courses we have course name and couple of attributes and then lessons we have the title and lesson difficulty so these two fields are attributed to lessons repeater field and that lesson repeater field is inside the courses repeater field and we can add courses and lessons will be added itself but we can also add lessons inside uh, course repeater field so this is how a nested repeater field looks like we are going to create a same nested repeater field right away but for the sake of this video you need to understand uh, this sheet as well so we will create a single post template where uh, there will be consist like repeater field for courses and then we will create a loop we are not going to use attributes so let me adjust this there so we are going to use uh, course name and lessons repeater field in our uh, first loop we can uh, reset it or color it so you better understand okay here we can see that uh, in our repeater loop one we will be using a text or heading widget that will uh, use the acf course name and a lessons repeater and in the repeater loop two we are going to use only text field and a number field number ac field uh, using the heading widget of elementor so let me first create a field group i already have a coupons you know post type and sorry courses post type and will at, uh, assign my field group to that post type so here's course and field type will be repeater as I showed you in the sheet and here's your course name and it's text field and then we can add another repeater for lessons and let's change its field type to repeater now we have two more fields inside lessons repeater field that is lesson name and lesson difficulty lesson name is a text field and lesson difficulty is a number so let's change it to number field type and here it is so now we have as you can see uh, two repeaters one inside course repeater and other is a course itself before we publish let's change its location to course okay now let's get back to our uh, templates let's add three templates first we will create a single course template for single coupon sorry course single course template that single post template or single course template that will contain a repeater field for courses make it a course repeater field let's check the ACF repeater widget of dynamic triple O and here let's search for courses and then choose it okay now in this widget we will use a template and create a new template a section and it will be named as repeater loop 1 
and in this template we can see in the sheet we are going to create text and a repeater for the sense so dot in two parts I have course name and a repeater for our lessons and then we can you know uh, check its field key from our field group then we have courses we can check out all the field from here and you can also see that in first we have course repeater and then we have two fields inside and then we have two more fields inside below that so and that is the same way we are doing on the sheet so let's copy and paste this field key for our course name and then we need to select our lessons and here we have and let's create a new loop template for our lessons which will contain our lesson title and lesson difficulty and here we have these two the two loops okay and let's uh, bring two sections one section with two columns and then uh, we can use uh, heading with check for both of them and dynamically use the coop tokens to retrieve the ACF value and here we can print ACF column then ACF key we can copy and paste from here okay and for same Now let's save it. Let's save our first loop and let's save our before we save let's choose our template as we had only created but not assigned it yet. Let's assign our template and then uh, choose the location. We need to select it for the courses of type and then save it. And here too we need to select the lessons. then save it and then we need to go back okay all our sign well let's just open our page Let's create a new course for our courses for five. My courses, let's add some dummy values with the course name be it learn PHP and let's add some lessons into it. Lesson name uh, let's find home controls and let's choose the lesson difficulty add a few more lessons okay let's add one more learn laravel model view controller we can add like models views and controllers with respect to difficulty level uh, okay okay let's save it and preview it okay now we have retrieved our nested repeaters uh, we can change the grids 
to make it look good and in the font size and also maybe let's uh, do couple of changes in our single post template let's make it a grid one okay now we have going to we can also change our loop one with this the no hard uh, size and all first we need to make it one okay now it's in one colon and let's change its sizing Okay. Now let's go to have this template. So let's change size of this template. Oh, okay, good to go. May look good. Yeah, perfect. So this is how you can retrieve nested fields, nested repeaters, and it's very easy to do. I have showed you this sheet so you can make use of something like this and never gonna forget it and this is very cool I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions you can ask in the comments and please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any new video till then bye bye and have a wonderful day